Okay, so like you've seen on the thumbnail, I'm 29, I'm software engineer, and I'm earning 200K plus yearly without having doing any computer science degree. And my goal with that is not to show off or anything, because first of all, there's always people earning more money than you. But it's more because when I was younger and I was looking up to highly skilled developers, I was like, huh, how did they got there? How did they got like such cool position? What is the path they took? to get exactly there. And today I will give you my path. This is not a perfect path. It wasn't a straight line. There was a lot of highs, but definitely a lot of lows as well. But that took a lot of logical change into my life. And I think this is a video my younger self will all love to see. So whether you just start coding or you're more advanced in your career, I'm sure you can get something out of this video. Okay, go grab a tea, a coffee, a beer, water, anything you prefer, and let's have a chat together. So I started to code pretty early. Like most developers, I'm a massive geek and I was playing a lot of video games. And at some point I was like, maybe I should create my own video game. It should be easy, right? <laughs> or naive I was. What I did is I joined a community of 2D game makers. The game engine was using Visual Basic Sys. So if you don't know the language, it's normal. Visual Basic Sys is like dinosaurs in terms of programmation. But at this point, something popped into me. I love this coding stuff. So I did a lot of it, a lot. <laughs> I met a lot of friends within this community and we made a game together. And at some point we needed a website. So I learned HTML. CSS and then at some point I had to learn PHP to make it a bit dynamic and so on and so forth. And then someone one day asked me the big question, what do you want to do in your life? I want to be software engineer. I love that. And the teacher said, no, you can't. You're very bad at math. You're very bad in science. You can't do that. I ended up listening and following what they said. But don't stop the video right now. If I'm telling you all of that, this is for a good reason. This is just a good reminder that regardless of the path you took, you can always change direction. This is what I did and this is what a lot of people are doing every single day. While I was a student in aeronautics, I never stopped grinding and I kept learning coding every single day. Back then, I was already working a lot on personal projects. I even created a dating app and got sued by another one when I was 19. But at this point, I was confident enough with web technologies and I was accepting freelancing gigs for small businesses in my city. I was creating their website, mobile apps, logos, everything I could possibly do to earn a bit of money. One of my clients even paid me a MacBook Pro, which was needed to create an iOS app. And back then, it was like the most incredible thing that happened to me. It really opened my eyes on what's possible when you have tech skills. So here is a second point for you create opportunities. When you decide to go the road without a degree, you've got to go outside of your comfort zone. You have to find clients and find things to do. Coding is one of those things that you have to practice to get good at. The more you'll do it, the more you'll be able to show your work and show your skills. And then come my boldest move in my life. I was 22 and I decided to move in Australia with a friend. I quit everything. I quit my job for Airbus. I quit my family. I quit my girlfriend. This was my first bold move and that was the best one of my life. <laughs> I remember going there with 1,500 euros and burning everything in three weeks. After that, I was living on my friend's money and I had to find shitty works to pay the bills. At some point, I was even cleaning wheels of supercars for 14 bucks an hour. Then, a Thursday morning, everything changed for me. I received a call from a recruiter telling me that my resume was perfect for this position. She told me, you know Angular 2 and TypeScript, right? Uh, it's $500 a day. Yes, I know TypeScript and I know Angular perfectly. But the truth is that back then I didn't. I had some experience with Angular 1 and at this time Angular 1 and Angular 2 was completely different but I had no clue. My friend could testify at this time I spent the next week grinding and learning like I never did before. Then I started the new job and I killed it. It was fantastic. This was one of the best experiences in my life. This job was my entry in the industry. So the key takeaway here is do bold move. You'll feel like an imposter and I sometimes still do today, but that's part of the process. So prior to this first job, I considered myself like a mediocre developer. I was using my own patterns. I was working most of the time completely alone without any code check and anything. This job gave me the opportunity to skyrocket my coding skills. I was working with very cool people within a team. I had to learn Git, I had to learn how to do pull requests, I had to, learn, I had to learn how to be organized. I had basically to learn all the soft skills that a developer needs. After this job, I had a lot of different contracts. I moved a lot from company to companies. I was changing every six to 10 months. This gave me the opportunity to work on many different code bases and more importantly, different problem to tackle. But what gave me a true boost within my career was all the personal projects I've done. If you want to know in greater details about it, I've done a video when I'm explaining everything, so I'll be, it'll be here or here, I don't know, I have no idea. And then finally I joined a startup, I worked for them for two years, 
It was a crazy good challenge as well. I learned so much about it. And more importantly, I learned about remote working, which I'm still doing today. Fast forward to today for my last bold move. I recently got into learning crypto. All the blockchain works, on Ethereum works, smart contracts, and all this kind of fun stuff. And I decided to move my career toward this direction. I really think this is the future, and I want to be part of it. If you have one learning to take off all of that, is that you should always do bold moves. If you want to have a good career, you always need to go outside of your comfort zone. You need to always keep learning and keep discovering new stuff. This is what will make you the best engineer out there. Change is good for you, it's good for your skills, it's good for your progression. I've never regretted any of my moves. Not even once. It's super scary, but you're worth it. I think your future self will thank you later. Okay, so that's it for today. This is a new format I'm trying. Uh, this is more a conversation between you and me. This is less scripted. If you enjoy it, please let me know in the comments or maybe drop a like, subscribe if you feel like it. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.